these notes are on the polar plane. Um, so there are two different ways of um, talking about graphing functions. Well, there are many ways, but the two that we've been focusing on in this chapter are the rectangular, um, in which case we see the functions written as y equals sine x. The other is in polar. And for polar, we see the functions written as r equals sine theta. Um, and so this is a slightly different way of um, graphing trigonometric, trigonometric functions. So if I make a table here, um, my input is the theta and my output is r. Um, and so I use degrees, and we'll graph this up till 180. And when I put into my calculator sine of zero, I get zero. And I'm going to actually use the decimal approximations here. So 0 0.5, 0 0.71, 0 0.87, 1, 0 0.87, 0 0.71, 0 0.5, um, negative 1. So now um, I can graph this on a polar coordinate, and polar coordinates look like this. So my first point that I'm going to graph is that 0, 0. My second, I'm going to label this as 1, which means this is 0.5. Um, my second, I'm going to label as... Um, Sorry, my second point is 30.5, so that's going to be right here. My third is 45.71, so if this is 0.5, this is 0.75, so 0.71. 60 is 0.87, so about there. 90 is 1, and then I come back down again, so um, 120 is going to be at a 0.87, 135 is 0.71, 150 is, um, whoops, sorry, I messed this up. This should be zero, excuse me, um, is back to zero. And so that gives me this sort of curvy looking shape. And the biggest thing that's going to change um, with graphing a function like sine is what your radius is. So at this point, um, the ones you've been doing in the book have been really looking at what happens when you change the amplitude of the function. Now I want to show you something else really important um, on Desmos, uh, which is an online calculator. I'm not sure how many of you have been using Desmos. Forgive me for the slight transition here to the computer. It's going to be a little odd here. Um, Right. Um, and so I'm going to plug in both of these functions, y equals sine x and r equals sine. And in order to get the theta, you have to go to the keyboard and you have to go to the alphabet. And theta is way to the right-hand side. Um, and it turns out that um, regardless of if I'm in rectangular coordinates or polar coordinates, the graphs of these don't change. So the x and the y signify rectangular, and the r and the theta signify the polar coordinates. So this is where we've got the polar um, version of y equals sine x, and this is where we have the rectangular version of y equals sine x. And let me just double check really quickly that you've seen you got that whole screen, which I believe you did, and there we go.